Lisa, what's wrong? Are you okay? Dad, I'm dizzy. Dad, I'm dizzy. And my chest hurts. Oh my God, Lisa. Marie, come here quickly. What has happened? What has happened? What's up, honey? Lisa suddenly just fell over. Lisa, can you hear me? I think she fainted. I think she fainted. We need to call an ambulance right away. Yes, you're right. I'll do that right away. Hello. It's Martin Peters. I really need your help. What has happened? Our daughter Lisa passed over. Our daughter Lisa passed over. We can't talk to them anymore. Is she still breathing? Honey, is Lisa still breathing? Yes, she breathes, but only very weakly. Yes, she breathes, but only weakly. Okay, we'll send someone to you right away. Okay, we'll send someone to you right away. Where are you? We are at Maximilian Strass 25. Okay, the helicopter is on its way to you. Please hurry. We'll be there as soon as we can. Marie, I'm waiting outside for the doctors. Marie, I'm waiting outside for the doctors. Have you been watching Lisa for so long? Yes, I'll do that. Please make sure that she is well again. We need to leave as soon as possible. We can't waste any time. Your breath is getting weaker and weaker. I hope the doctors are here any minute. We must fly faster. I think I hear the helicopter. I think I hear the helicopter. Where is the patient? Lisa is in the house. Please help her out. How long has she been lying there? About 10 minutes ago. Your heart is beating very weakly. Your heart is beating very weakly. We need to get her to a hospital right away. Will she survive, doctor? I can't tell you that yet. But we've got to go right now. Every second counts. Let's go straight to the hospital too. Let's go straight to the hospital too. I'm so worried. Yes, me too. We need to land and get Lisa to an ambulance. Something is not right here. That makes no sense. I need more test results. I hope Lisa is feeling better already. We need to go in and talk to the doctor. Hello. Our daughter was brought here recently. Hello. Our daughter was brought here recently. You must be Mr. Peters. Yes, that's right. It's good that you're here. The doctor would like to talk to you. He's waiting for you on the second floor. Please hurry. It is apparently very urgent. It is apparently very urgent. 
Hello, doctor. Can we go see Lisa? No, that is not possible. Why not? Her condition isn't stable. Lisa's heart looks like this. Lisa's heart looks like this. Do you see the hole in the middle? Yes, I can see it. What does that mean? That is the reason why she is doing so unwell. Lisa had a heart attack. Lisa had a heart attack. Oh my gosh. Will she survive? I can't say that. We've got two options. Either we hope Lisa's heart heals. Either we hope Lisa's heart heals. Or we give her a new heart. What are the pros and cons? If we don't do anything, Lisa can have a heart attack again and again. That doesn't sound like a good idea. It would be better to change hearts. But Lisa may not survive the operation. But Lisa may not survive the operation. Oh my gosh. There is one more thing. The new heart costs 100,000 euros. I'll give you 15 minutes to make a decision. But hurry up. We don't have much time. What should we do, Marie? We can't afford the new heart. We can't afford the new heart. And it may be that Lisa doesn't survive the operation. We still need to do the operation. It's Lisa's only chance for a normal life. Where do we get the money from? There is a way. But you won't like it. Surely you don't want to ask Polnikova for money? You know what happened last time. It is our only option. Please don't do that. We'll find another solution. There is no other option. I'll give him a call. I'll give him a call. Yes, hello? Hello, Mr. Polnikova. It's Martin Peters. I really need your help. What should I do for you? Lisa needs a new heart. It costs 100,000 euros. I really need the money. I can do that. But as you know, nothing in life is free. But as you know, nothing in life is free. I'll do anything, whatever it is. Okay, the money will be in your account soon. The money is already there. How did you decide? We'll do the surgery. They know that Lisa may not survive the operation. They know that Lisa may not survive the operation. Yes, we know that. And do you have enough money? The money isn't a problem. Okay, we'll do the surgery now. Please go to the waiting room. I'll come to you in a few hours. I'll come to you in a few hours. You can do it, Lisa. We believe in you. How does it look, doctor? I'm sorry, but... There were complications. There were complications. What does that mean? You can go to her place. Lisa will survive. But she is still very weak. Hi, Lisa. Where am I, Dad? Where am I, Dad? You're in hospital. Get some rest. 
everything will be all right again. Who is calling the ambulance? A. Martin Peters. B. Marie Peters. C. Mr. Polnikova. Write a comment.